Hey guys, today we're with a little live game here. Um, today I want to teach you a little bit about Lee Sin, how to play Lee Sin. He's one of the strongest jungles around right now. If you enjoy playing him, if you're good at him, he is kind of high skill cap. He's got skill shots and stuff like that. But always pick champions you enjoy playing over anything else. So if you enjoy Lee Sin, play him. And he is good right now. And hopefully with this video, I should be able to help you. Nice. Get a little bit better at him. Learn some things about him as well. So first things first, what we want to take a look into is uh, matchups in the lanes. Also the jungle matchups. There's one he's a bit of a pain for, for Lee Sin. Kind of hard to deal with. Uh, but just looking at the lanes, like where we want to gank, what lanes we want to pressure and stuff like that. If we look at top lane, Darius and Tassan, both two melee, uh, melee champions. Darius, very good versus tanks. And this has definitely got some kill potential there. So we can look at top lane. Mid lane is a little bit tricky because there's no real good setup for mid. Until we reach level 6 when we can use our kick for Yasuo to then follow up on. Vega is vulnerable if he's pushed out. But apart from that, it's going to be a hard lane to gank. And bot lane, we can do some things as well. Because brand lanes tend to be quite aggressive and push. Both these champions have no escapes. And we have a thresh to set up. So we already we, we figure out what lanes we can go to. Uh, top and both the side lanes are going to be our kind of main lanes this game. Uh, and then after level 6, we can look at mid depending on Vega's positioning. Uh, also, something else I'm going to show you, which is an OP as heck trick for playing in the jungle, guys. OP as heck. I do this every game. Bam! Slash me all. Now you don't have to listen to anyone, and that's really important because people chat a lot of shit. They'll be spamming you for ganks. Even when it's a bad time to go and gank, they'll still do it. You just ignore that shit. We're going to go for uh, a clear here that gets us the earliest level 3, or a relatively early level 3. Um, which is just all of the single target camps because Lee Sin is good at single target but bad at AoE before you get your upgraded jungle item. So we go for the blue with the leash into the Gromp, into the walls and then we'll take red. We'll be level 3 and we can look to go gank. Keeping our eyes peeled on lanes as well because we want to know what's going on. If you want to get the fastest level 3, um, you just do these two mini walls and skip the big one. But by killing the wolf camp, it then means it's going to reset earlier for us so we can get some more XP and stuff. So it's fine. Take red and we'll be sorted. So let me show you my runes. Two options here. We could have gone for Conqueror instead of Electrocute. It's good versus tanks. I am against Sejuani and Scion. But for me, I'm just totally fine with Electrocute because it gives me a better early game. So I prefer that. And my rune stats, I have AD, AD and Armor here. Pretty standard stuff. This sometimes I go into Tenacity here. But because I'm going to be buying Merch Trades anyway because I'm against Vagar, Sejuani and Brand, then I don't really need the Tenacity. Alright, let's just take a little... There she is. Wow, she got over two walls from me there. What a skit. What the fuck? How did she get there? It doesn't matter, it's fine. So we pressure out the jungle a little bit. We get eyes on her, we get vision on her. We can take a grump here as well and then we'll go for the top. Go for the top crab. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad shout actually, Mr. Darius. Do we have time to go there now? Okay, let's go. No, I have my flash, but... Alright, nice. We already. Now, looking for tower dives is a really good way to tilt people <laughs> and to gank people because, like, no one expects it underneath their tower, right? So, it's pretty sexy. Plus, if you can then, after you get a successful gank, you want to push minion waves out because that just gives you a crap ton of XP. Like, jungle XP sucks nowadays, so if you can tax from lanes, it's, like, really nice. Ah. Oh, he's actually flashing in. Okay, if you come to the river, I can maybe save you here. Ah. Hmm. I don't think I can kill this guy. Maybe I can. Nope. I flash this one. Please don't Q me. Or E me, I should say. Okay. What's the plan here, guys? What's the plan? <laughs> what are you doing, Sarve? What are you doing? What are you doing? Holy fuck. Am I Audi? I'm Audi. Okay, cool. We'll go for the crab here. I shouldn't have tried to help that guy, honestly. If I had Conqueror actually there, I think I can kill him, but... Can't kill him that Conqueror. We need to reset as well. We need to recall. We're just going to get this crab, and then we're going to recall. Alright, something I'm not doing very well here is keeping an eye on the lanes. It's really important to do that as jungle. So I just want to know. I just want to know what's happening. You know, I want to. I want to keep my eyes peeled and see what's going on. What lanes I can help. What lanes I want to look at. I didn't mention as well. We are streaming this live. FBOGG slash workshop low. Go give us a follow. I put the link to it in the description of the video so you can check that out. So for our items here, 
Red or blue smite is like almost entirely preferential. Totally up to you. Blue smite is better burst damage. Red smite is better fights in 1v1s. So good stuff. Also very important when you're playing League of Legends. Go every cup of tea. Take a cheeky sip of that every now and then. Now I'm going to look for bot lane, but I want to take my camps so days reset. I might go for level five and then bot lane. One thing I notice I do, if I go on like a loose streak or something like that, compared to when I'm on a win streak, is I try and help people too much. The more I farm, I tend, I tend to win more games. Obviously you want to find a balance, but I just think like if in doubt, just get your camps because you know then at least you get XP, right? And then at least you're falling very far behind. So we're going to come from the lane here because Thresh can lantern us in. Walk up to this guy. There's the lantern. We jump in. Beautiful. And again, push this lane out, guys. Don't just leave this lane. Push it in. There's another wave coming in as well. We're going to push. We're going to help our team to get that. Get that minion wave in. We can maybe look for the infernal dragon as well. So it is an important dragon to take. It's a very good dragon to take. So Zhuani is top side, so we know that we can go for that. Ooh, this guy's also inting, so that helps us too. So I'm going to go for the dragon. I can solo this as long as no one comes to stop me. We're fine. If we take a look at mid lane, we have the, the pressure in there. Yeah, so I was pushing him in, so that's fine. Just go like this, bop, bop. Something I didn't mention, but like a little thing. Well, it's not really a little thing. It's a big thing when you're uh, in the early game. Is you want to use an ability... And then do two auto attacks before you reactivate or use another ability. Because oops, Daisy. Because that way you make uh, the most use of, out of your passive, the flurry passive here, which gives you attack speed with uh, in between each ability. So really, really important for just like, optimizing your jumpers like here. So two hits and then W two hits, W two hits, E two hits, E two hits. You can kind of, you don't have to do it as like perfectly once you hit level 3, but in, in the very early levels, level 1, level 2, you really want to uh, maximize uh, that those passive hits, because without it, your jungle players will suck. Alright, now we either go mid here or we go bot. And I've baited the shit out of my team here, so... So, Ronnie is pathing up. We know this is up because this just spawned. Uh, we we know we know this spawn because Sejuani came here, or the jungle pass she took at level uh, in in at level three. She she ended here at level three, right, with red buff and blue buff. Basically, just did the exact same path that I did, and uh, so we know she must have side bot side if she was top side level three. We come in here, try to predict the flash, but that's fine. Uh, I don't really need to push this wave in here because it's gonna take a. I mean, this is fine. We don't need to push this wave in. I've got to reset. I've got to. I've got to buy my items and stuff. But if you if you press tab and look at my farm, like this is really important. Look at this shit. I, I I've got 54 farm right now. Like that is huge. Like having 54 farm, it's like the it's like it's like having a lane as farm, right? Just because I'm pushing minion waves down, like I'm almost level seven. I have not been farming my jungle particularly well. I haven't taken my chickens or my krugs once this game. Because I'm just like, I'm, I'm making good plays and I'm getting kills. Uh, or more, more importantly, I'm getting lane experience. Like, that's what it's all about. I haven't got a pink ward here. I went for the longsword, which is probably greedy. This should probably be a pink ward, but it's fine. It's fine. Now again, just going to peep the different lanes and see if there's anything up. There's Sejuani. She is bot side, so we can just walk into her jungle and get something. Maybe we can look top, actually. Alright, we'll look top and see if we can get, go for this sound here. Last cone in. Jump to the minion. You dead. Yo, I'm slow as f I'm actually dead. What the fuck? Yo, I took the slow. And I was donezo. I had my flash and everything. I needed to flash his, uh, his slow. I didn't think that would kill me. Okay, well, he dies on the tower. This 150 shutdown... Honestly, giving it to someone is good, but you don't really want to give it to anyone, obviously. Basically, what I should have done there was just flash his slow. But this play denies him a little bit of CS on the tower. More importantly, he gets his teleport out of him, which is good because then it protects my bot lane. Because they're already winning, right? So it means now that Sion can't actually go bot lane to... Uh, 
to like counter these players. Like if Simon was there, they would win that fight, right? But he's not there because he TP's top. It's fine. This Gromp is now level 7, same level as us, which means it's going to give us a decent amount of XP. It's fine. This guy's taking Crab. Should probably go mid here, honestly. Now, this guy has an ulti. I know he has an ulti. We have to dodge his cage, but apart from that, we're fine here. There you go. So, again, we can push this in. I'm not going to push. Actually, I am going to push this wave with him. I'm not going to take the CS. So this is something which is kind of important. Is like You can push without taking the CS, right? If you get one or two, it's like, it's whatever. But I don't want to tax this guy, like heavy tax this guy. I just want to like share the XP. Wait, what is he doing? Huh, okay. Uh, I don't know what that was, but it's fine. This guy needs to leave me alone as well, because Sejuani is... Like, I can't, I can't kill Sejuani. I know that sounds lame, but I genuinely cannot kill this champion. And I'm scared if Vegar's there. But... Vegar might be getting greedy here, thinking that Sejuani's around to protect him. So there's a chance he might even face check me here to put Vision down. Fuck! Ah! That sucks. Can't even get- Look at it! Look at that! Look at that CC! Perma CC! Ooh! Alright. That's cool. Is that cool? This guy has ulti, I think. Hmm. I don't know actually if he wins that, it's fine. We got a kill there, but hey, that sucks. I could have played that a bit better actually. This this Vega kill could have been a lot cleaner. I got stunned by the 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 cage there, so I wasn't able to go in. I misplayed that one a little bit. Is it bad that I max E first on Lee Sin? Thank you. Yes. I think so. North American junglers used to do that in season three, when uh, when EU was like had like the best junglers like Diamond Prox and stuff, who are really good Lee Sin players, and NA were so bad at this champion. They used to max E on him. Meteos used to do it. And used to trigger me. Uh, it's because if you can't, if you don't have the mechanical skill to play this champion, you just max E. But the thing is that E's been nerfed quite a lot, so I don't even max it till last, and I definitely don't think you should max it first. I think you're kind of missing out on a lot of the potential of the champion if you don't put points into your queue. Alright. My bot lane is really strong, like mega strong, so we just... We can get everything we want in the bot side of the map here, including this dragon. So we take this one down. That's fine. You can peep me as much as you want, mate. You ain't stopping me. Oh, hello. I don't think she'll stay. I don't think she's that dumb. Is she that dumb? Yo, what do you reckon, boys? Oh, that's Jin. <laughs> they see me. Now nah, we've got to be careful here. So a little talk about item build, guys. Uh, I've gone. I'm rushing the uh, Warren Chant into Black Cleaver. This is a really solid, like all-round build. It gives me like decent tankiness but also a lot of damage. And I've gone for Merc Treads because there's so much CC on their team. As The MR is nice as well, but you should never buy Merc Treads for Magic Exist. It's it's nice, it takes the edge off a little bit, but you're spending like 1100 gold and getting 25 Magic Resist. Like, it's the same as an old Magic Mentor. Like, you don't get any more Magic Resist, and that, but you're paying like 700 extra. It's really not worth it. So only buy Merc Treads if it's for the CC, so for stuns, basically. And obviously in this case you have Sejuani, R and E. The Q doesn't count because that's a knock-up and Tenacity doesn't help for knock-ups. At Vagar Cage you have like the slows coming out of sound. You have obviously the stun and the root from Jin. It's like a, it's a mega Mertrez game here. So while my Yasuo is going top lane, he's being a jungler. I'm just going to hold this mid lane here. You can probably guess but kind of a, a common theme of this game. Please don't kill me bro. Red smite, good stuff. Common theme of this game is where you can get jungle farm, uh, lane farm, sorry, as a jungler, do it. Gets you a lot. Gets you a lot of uh, XP, keeps you in the game. I mean, 
my my top lane is my uh, bot lane. Sorry, it's just too strong right now. I don't know. Holy fuck! This Yasuo is insane. Please don't die. All right, we can get this. I've got to reset after this herald here. Mm, this actually, well, Sejuani is dead, so I guess it's a decent time to do it. This eye stops opening when it's below like 10% health or so, so you have to be careful. But I'm just going to go with my bot lane here and I'm just going to put this down. Yo, what is this game? What is this game? There's one his bot side. I think I was missing, but it's fine. Probably get in here, honestly. Nice. If you can get a herald before 14 minutes, it's really good because you can get plates with it. But even getting it later is fine just for accelerated pushes. Hey, thanks for the 100 stars, Flavio, mate. Appreciate it, buddy. Holy crap. I'm just gonna keep going, baby. We probably could've just gone for the Nexus Towers here, honestly. Bye, Shelly. Thanks for playing. I think these guys have opened. No! <laughs> Shit. Yo, look at my health, man. That CC is actually disgusting. No! Yes, I'm good. Okay, I'm okay. This is why it's, uh, like, Lee Sin's not good into tank matchups, and probably why I should have taken Conqueror this game, honestly. It's like, Lee Sin has a lot of damage, and you saw me when I was fighting Vega, it's fine. Like, I have enough damage to just kill Vega. Like, it's all good, but... When it comes to, like, tanks, you don't deal enough damage to them, and they have so much base damage that they just destroy you. You know, they, they lock you up in CC, and they just absolutely obliterate you. And Conqueror helps versus tanky targets, whereas Electrocute is better for burst, so... Electrocute is a good, like, early game option for your ganks and stuff like that. I mean, if you look at my damage, it's done a decent amount of damage. But Conqueror, if you're just standing there fighting, like, there was one play when I was in this mid lane, like, against Sejuani and Sion. And also top lane against Sion as well. Those plays, if I had Conqueror, maybe i win those plays. I'm gonna go for a Steric Snakes. Honestly, at this point in the game, you can start pivoting your build a little bit. Whatever the game desires. Like, if you want to get some magic resist, you can go for the Hex Drinker here into the more of Mortius. If you want to go for, like, Dead Man's Plate, just get a bit tankier. Knight's Vow is an okay choice as well. Oh! No one saw that. No one saw that shit. You can go uh, Sterix, like, I, like I'm going, is a good all-round option. And uh, Guardian Angel is good too. might be done so guys my spidey senses are tingling I think it might be over okay guys go hit me up on my socials go follow me if you enjoy the video wait what don't I have a thing I do here is this it wait let me peep this is it you can give me that cheeky thumbs up oh my team's dying wait a tick subscribe to me flick my bell all that lovely business we'll take a look at the end game stats here before I leave you, 
Let me know, by the way, what champions you want to see these like little gameplay guides on as well, because uh, you know I'm down to do some more. I kind of want to. I kind of want to do educational stuff again. So this is why I'm doing these type of gameplays, so I have more fun doing that. So anything you want to learn, just hit me up, and I'll uh, I'll try and teach you. What are the chances that Vayne is number one? I'm number two. We're number two. Woo! Good stuff. Look at that. Like, seriously, though. Sejuani. Disgusting champion. Disgusting champion. For real. Like, look at this shit. Same damage as me. And ten times tankier. Holy moly. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm, I'm sorry, out of the loop. I've forgotten how to do my outros. And I will see you in my next. Thank you.